In this video, we'll go over the Seraph Cipher and what is in it for this season, season 19. And let's just get to the chase on this. So first off, let's talk about the first row and let's talk about champion mods. Unstoppable Hand Cannon, that's one I like. Overload Scout Rifle, okay, there's probably some good ones there. Piercing Bowstring, so this is against Bearer Champions for bows. Again, I like using bows for champions, that's a good one. Anti-Barrier Pulse Rifle, okay, and then Overload Rounds on your Submachine and Auto Rifle. Okay, so some decent mods we've had in the past. On the second row, we have Grenade Launcher Holster. Again, that's, you know, that's that's useful. Uh, Legacy Ambush. So this is going to increase the duration of some of the origin traits from the season. So we'll see how that kind of plays out. In-Flight Compensator. Increases the airborne effectiveness of all equipped weapons. So this will probably one you want to use in PvP. We'll have to see how that kind of works out. Bow Dexterity. Again, we already looked at we're getting you being using bows this season. Mobile Retrofit. So it looks like they're giving you a mod that actually allows you to stack additional mobilities. So I guess if you need it in a pinch, that's not bad. Uh, hand Cannon Targeting. Again, we have a Hand Cannon mod for the season so again that'll help out a uh, pulse rifle lo loader again same thing we have pulse rifles already for champion mods energy diffusion substrate gain a small amount of resistance to all damage dealt to you by companions additional copies of mod will increase the effect it'll be interesting to see if this stacks on top of everything else so if this is something that you have resistance and it does extra resistance so it'll see and, and what how that affects i'll have to review that here in a little bit <coughs> Okay, sharpshooting greatly increases the duration and effect of the text balance stock origin trait and the vice stinger origin trait. Okay, so we'll have to see what that looks like this season. Resilient retrofit. So just like the mobility one, this is one that adds to your resilience as well. So if you're hurting there, unstoppable grenade launcher. So we already heard this season that grenade launcher is going to come back with a sort of version of breach and clear. So obviously this is obviously something you can use too. So anarchy maybe back in play here. Um, we'll have to see kind of how this balances out. Counter charge become charged with light whenever a member of your fire team stuns a champion. That's interesting. That'll be great in GMs. I'm assuming you'll have champions also in the dungeon. So that'll be a really nice one. It's only three energy, so that's not too bad. Advanced scout champions you stun take additional damage from teammates. So again, that's great because if you stun the champion, right, then everyone. So it'll be really good when we do the weapons testing, how much in addition that actually does. But again, you see a lot of play for champions this season. Lord Kelvin's Basilic. Void and stasis grenades cause disruption. So this is basically overload for either void or stasis grenades. And the low entropy superconductor stasis and arc melee abilities stun and shield champions is for unstoppable. So we see the common denominator here. Stasis is obviously going to give you a lot of play for taking out champions. That's actually pretty cool. Without using weapons, uh, there's going to be some play there. Definitely for some builds. All right, let's check out the last row. Passive. This is where y'all came from. Passive aggressive guard. So this is basically the, a passive guard on your sword, but in this case, it's on the glaive. So that could come in really handy. Um, it'll be interesting. I thought I saw in the trailer there was some potential glaive play there. Like maybe there's a glaive coming this season. I haven't really looked in too much, but that, that'll be good. And that'll allow you to get up close, especially some of the changes to glaives recently. So that they proc things on certain exotic armor. Weak and clear. Okay, so it's like breach and clear, but weakened. Uh, when using a grenade launcher, damaging a boss, damaging a champion, or breaking combatant shields, reload your stow weapons, weakens the combatant, your combatant. So again, it's kind of like breach and clear. So maybe anarchy comes back. So what this was you really useful for when you know breach and clear was really good is that you could you know obviously you would do damage with your one weapon, you would swap to anarchy, you would do damage with a grenade launcher on a particular enemy, and then you'd swap back to your other weapon, you'd immediately have your ammo back. So this, again, would be good, and it weakens. So, especially with some of the divinity nerfs, maybe this is going to come in play a little bit when we're... And again, we have a lot of these champion sort of doing extra damage and stunning, There's and this unstoppable grenade launcher. There's a lot of play here. Monochromatic Maestro. Dealing damage with elemental abilities gains increased damage to weapons of the same element for a short duration. Dealing damage with elemental weapons grants increased damage to abilities of the same element for a short duration. So again, this is that play where, you know, when you do damage with your weapon, your abilities, and we do abilities, so it kind of goes back and forth between them. So there's probably some cool builds you can do that. I got to try that out and see where that plays in. Solo Operative, while you are the only member of your fire team, you deal increased damage for all components, uh, combatants. 
Now, this one will be really good um, when you're doing solo activities, if you're trying to solo dungeons or things like this season, because maybe you want to finish that up. This would be good for some builds there. Also, if you're trying to do lost sectors and get, you know, maybe finish up the exotics that are sitting in there, this would be good for that. And of course, if everyone else is dead and your fire team, this will be good. So, and equipping additional mods has no benefit. So again, you only solo it once, right? And then Lucent Finisher, everyone knows what this, defeating a Lucent High Bear, Light Bear, or Champion with your finisher spawns heavy ammo for you and your allies. So this is interesting. It's not just, if I'm reading this right, it's not just Lucent Hive Light Bears, it's also Champion. So this means you don't need Aeons if you want to get extra ammo when you're in a particular activity. So again, my guess is, especially the dungeon, we're probably going to need ammo on a regular basis. We're probably going to run out, we're probably going to run to Bullet Sponge, and that's what will come in. So Definitely some really cool mods. There's a lot of play around champions and doing extra damage. Um, and obviously, if we can clear, that's going to be a really good one. That's Again, it's not breach and clear, but that's going to help you definitely go get into that fantasy of being able to do damage one weapon, switch over, then switch back. So again, really cool mods this season. Jump in the game right now and check them out.